I watched this video that you released on social media questioning the first assassination attempt. For the second one, if they knew that there was this plot, why didn't they sweep the golf course? You know, it's interesting how quiet and everything became all of the mainstream media. There were a few days of reporting about July 13 event and everything then became quiet. So I had a lot of questions. What's going on? It's, this is not normal. And is it really shocking that all this egregious violence uh, goes against my husband? Especially that we hear the leaders from the opposition party and mainstream media branding him as a threat to democracy, calling him vile names. They only fueling a toxic atmosphere and giving power all of these people that they want to do harm to him. This needs to stop. This needs to stop. The country needs to unite. And I encourage everybody to read my letter that I wrote on July 14 again, because that cannot continue. Letter was very powerful. What made you get to the point of writing that letter? That's how I felt. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. All right, guys, so we got to talk about the disgusting, vile, and despicable cackling hands on The View who are going to openly mock Melania Trump after she went on record to talk about how she felt in response to the failed assassination attempts on her husband, President Trump, okay? And Melania Trump has been speaking out about this because she is tired of seeing the political violence in this country that is happening, a lot of it being directed towards her husband. Now, you would think that this would be non-controversial, right? That, you know, the liberal loving left uh, would just leave this alone, right? They say, you know what? We're just gonna let Melania say what she has to say, express her feelings, because clearly she's mourning about not only what has happened in this country, but the fact that what has happened in this country could possibly result in her husband losing his life, okay? But again, because the left is not very liberal, they're not very loving, okay? And they're definitely not tolerant. They just couldn't help themselves but to go after Melania Trump for speaking out about the failed assassination attempts against her husband and also at the same time expressing uh, her uh, personal feelings about her husband, which apparently is something that The View in their audience thinks should be mocked and laughed at because in this clip in which Melania is talking about uh, her personal relationship with the president, um, you can hear in the background the audience fail to contain their laughter and snickering and their basically disdain for Melania Trump and how she's talking about her relationship with the president. Take a look. American people need to decide what they really want. Maybe some, you know, strong tweets, but everything else great for this country. So what do you love most about your husband? He's, he's being, he's a humor, his personality, his kindness, he's, he's very special. Uh, his positivity, um, his energy, it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, so we have a beautiful relationship. What do the two of you like to do for fun if you're not working? To have dinner, sometimes quiet dinner or dinner with friends and listen to the music, mm -hmm. all kind of different musics. I hear he likes to be the DJ. He likes to be the DJ and um, it's very uh, fun night when he does that. <laughs> and it didn't stop there, okay? Of course, the cackling hands chimed in on this, on this interview in which Melania Trump not only is talking about uh, her relationship with her husband, but also the failed assassination attempt uh, the view decides that, hey, it's a good idea to mock her and to ridicule her for speaking out. While at the same time, uh, these are the same people that have criticized Melania Trump 
for not speaking out, right? So when she speaks out, she gets mocked. When she doesn't speak out, she gets mocked. So it's almost like damn if you do, damn if you don't at this point. I just want to say something about Barbara. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was Barbara Walters' birthday, I believe. Yes. yes. And when I was watching this, I thought if Barbara were here today, she would have said to her, Melania, your husband had sex with a porn star yeah. while you were home with a baby. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Yeah. That's what Barbara would have done. This woman, nothing. This was the most softball thing, the most softball hostage video I've ever well, seen. Well, that's probably why. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I've never seen Joy Behar complain about all these softball interviews that Kamala Harris gets. I mean, in fact, I mean, these people just interviewed Joe Biden a few days ago, and that was probably one of the most softball interviews I've ever seen, right? So again, apparently, uh, Melania Trump should be held to a higher standard when it comes to interviews than Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, according to Joy Behar. But uh, Joy Behar here claims that uh, the interviewer should be asking Melania Trump about the silly allegations from Stormy Daniels, right? Well, by that same reasoning and logic, then, you know, would it be appropriate for a journalist to ask Jill Biden about Joe Biden and the allegations against him from Tara Reid, right? What was Joe Biden doing? Allegedly assaulting a staff assistant in his office as a married man and a senator. Now, I guarantee you, if an interviewer would ask Jill Biden about Tara Reid, I guarantee you these cackling hands would lose their damn minds. They lose their damn minds. But they, they, want, they want interviewers to ask Melania Trump about Stormy Daniels? I just love how these people pretend <laughs> as if Joe Biden, there are no accusations against him. Although Kamala Harris came out and said that, hey, she believes his accusers, right? His Me Too accusers, in which there are multiple, right? Tara Reid is not the only person, but again, they never bring that up, right? That's never a thing. And Probably why they were able to book the interview, because she yeah. does have a book coming out. And if this is Donald Trump's way of reaching women, he might want to try another route. I, I, I don't even say that with a lot of shade. Mm -hmm. I find them very unrelatable not people. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. a lot of mm -hmm. shade. You don't think uh, she softened him? Uh, no. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> so I think that people tell you who they are by who loves them and who they love. Mm -hmm. So one of the most powerful moments in the DNC to me was Doug Emhoff's speech. Yeah. When you watch people truly love, they can't fake it. When you're watching them, yeah. wow. I find this like really hard to uh, look at and see a reflection of myself. Like I'm a regular married person. I sleep with my husband in the bed yeah. and like- Me we, too. Yeah. <laughs> with her husband. Yeah. So, yeah, we all do. Yeah. That explains <laughs> story, story. Story. Amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing. The hypocrisy from these individuals is stunning because these are the same individuals that are telling conservatives, Tim Walls told conservatives, mind your own damn business. Don't worry about what happens in my house, my bedroom in the doctor's office when you have women trying to kill their babies, right? Mind your own damn business, right? This is what the argument is from the left. But yet, these people are obsessed with the sex life, with the personal life of President Trump and Melania Trump, right? They're obsessed with whether or not they sleep together, whether or not she actually loves him. They're obsessed with the nature of the relationship, but yet these are the same people telling us, mind your own damn business, right? These people are obsessed with Mark Robinson and his internet history, right? <laughs> Which, you know, hey, could be trolling. I don't know, right? I have no idea exactly what the man was doing, right? Allegedly, okay? People really want me to talk about that story, but there's not really that much to talk about, to be honest with you. But my point is this. He didn't do anything illegal, right? You might not like what he said, but it wasn't illegal. And everything having to do with that is between him, his wife, his family. I ain't got nothing to do with it. So it's not much for me to comment on. But yet these people are all up in it, right? They're all up in the man's business. While at the same time telling you, no, 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 you need to mind your business, right? Conservatives mind your business. Don't worry about our personal life and what we do and who we like to sleep with and what type of uh, adult content we like to consume, right? Don't worry about all that, right? Mind your damn business, except they don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. You know, this is the first time we're seeing Melania in two years. When you love someone, you're there for them, not because they asked you to be there. You wouldn't be anywhere else. Dr. Biden shows up on surprise, uh, like surprising she, the yeah, president yesterday because she had to be there. Mm -hmm. All these other spouses, even Usha, Usha Vance, yeah. how you say her name, I she think. keeps doing all these events. It's it's 
you, that's where you go when your person is pursuing their dream. Yeah. We haven't seen her, and her description of Donald Trump doesn't track with the reality of what we've seen. And I can't relate to the marriage or if they're even in the same place the at delusion. the same time. So I don't think that's the way. The delusion. Who gives an F? Right. Seriously. Who? I mean, real talk. Who gives a F about whether or not you can relate to somebody else's relationship? I don't give a damn about Obama's relationship, Joe Biden's relationship. I don't care about any of this stuff, right? Who gives a damn? Who are you to tell somebody how they're supposed to love somebody and whether or not their love is real or not? Well, I just didn't get the feeling that she actually really loves him from the way that she was talking because she's not out giving these speeches like, all of the spouses of these other individuals. And it's like every first lady does not need to be like Hillary Clinton, right? Every, every first lady doesn't have to be like that. Do I think that Bill and Hillary love each other? No, <laughs> right? But at the same time, do I really give a damn? Not really. But according to these individuals, this is something we should be concerned about, right? Do you think it would be appropriate for an interviewer to always ask Hillary Clinton, hey, what's up with your husband getting that guac guac 3000? In the White House, right? <laughs> What's up with that? How do you feel about that, right? I'm just saying, I, I, today, I, I, you know, me personally, I don't give a damn. It doesn't matter to me, right? It's not a big deal, okay? But these people think that it is when, when it comes to a Republican, right? But I, I guarantee you, if the media was to ever ask questions like that to Jill Biden or Hillary Clinton today, these, they'd be losing their minds. But they want the media to press Melania Trump on that. They want Melania Trump to come out here and to give a bunch of speeches like she's a politician. She's not a politician. And that's okay. She doesn't have to speak. Just because she doesn't speak doesn't mean that she doesn't love her husband. That's not evidence that she doesn't love her husband. She just doesn't want to be involved. And I don't blame her because of stuff like this. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. When Melania is not speaking out enough for these individuals, it's a problem. Oh, well, she doesn't love her husband. And then when she does speak out, oh, well, she doesn't love her husband, right? So it's dead if you do, dead if you don't. I just think it's despicable for Sarah Hayes to sit up here and to speculate about whether or not uh, there's real love between uh, the former president and Melania Trump. Like, it's just, it's like, what is this, <laughs> right? Like, this is just garbage of saying that he has kindness in his heart. He's so mean. She he's, called him positive. He's the meanest president we've ever had. It. And I w was around when Nixon was here. He does like to DJ, that was true. He yeah, is mean. He loves show to him. He, well, he's mean to the Haitians. He's mean to women. He's mean to immigrants. Everybody. He's mean to everybody. He's he's not, mean maybe to, he's not mean to Melania. Oh, oh but I don't well, care. I don't, don't know if he no, sees wait, her or not. I did good interview. Please don't bury me on golf course. <laughs> 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 all these people, bro. Wow. This is insane. Sonny has a legal note. <laughs> can, can, she's about to have another one. <laughs> yeah. Just I, quoting. Can I, can, be, be, right before I do that, can I just ask Alyssa a question? Because I've been dying to ask. Is my impression of her real? Like, are they simpatico? Are they very similar? I, no, my I actually spent a very little real. time with her. Oh, I think I only okay. met her once or twice. Okay, so never mind. That. I can't say. <laughs> Let me go to my legal note. Yeah, okay. please. Trump has denied ever having an affair with Stormy Daniels. That's the only part? That's it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is despicable. It really is. It really is. But this is the left, right? Out of one side of their mouth, they're telling us, mind your own business, okay? Stay out of my bedroom. Stay out of the hospital room. Stay out of my personal life. Stay out of my relationships, who I want to be with, whether or not I love this person, that person. Stay out of it. But yeah, they can't stay out of it, right? They can't mind their own business. This would have been a great time for the left to mind their own damn business. But they can't help themselves. The former first lady comes out and clearly she's grieving. Clearly she's upset. Clearly she doesn't like what's happening in this country in regards to the political violence that's mainly coming from the left. And The View, they decide to take the time to mock the first lady over it, And then they wonder why she doesn't speak out, right? If I was her, I, I probably... <laughs> wouldn't speak out either. I'd just be like, listen, I, I want to be as far away as possible from all this, right? And she has the right to do that. If she doesn't want to be involved in politics, she doesn't have to be. And there's nothing wrong with that. Every first lady doesn't have to be, you know, a political activist or, you know, always involved in this and that. She's doing her thing and hey, it is what it is. And I'm just going to mind my own business, which is what the left claims that they want people to do, except apparently that's not what they want to do. So, hey, 
Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.